front page of the Daily Graphic. We have prayer camps, not solution to breast cancer. Dr. Riafe Adai is speaking. Uh, electronic VAT invoicing takes off. 600 firms covered under phase one. Okay. Do not use radio to foment trouble in Boku. This is coming from the NMC. And we have as a Dehene alarmed Bimun's rate of deforestation. All right. And then ECG vending system improves, but still, many still can't access power. All right. So over the weekend, I had an experience at the Achimota District Office, which I'll be sharing later on um, in our community focus segment. Um, as to some of the things that I encountered there. On the front page of the Daily Graphic, we have these headlines. Uh, sorry, the Ghanaian Times, we have these headlines. Police nab 16 over Galamse shootings. Now, there's a video that went uh, viral, you know, um, over the weekend. And it was just unbelievable to see some of the things that we saw in, in the video. Um, but again, the conversation will come up in a community focus segment we'll delve a little more into a little more detail gra digital vat invoicing takes off today set to eliminate abuse and increase revenue okay the digitization of our of our economy and our systems is undoubtedly the way we all need to go and so all those who are you know infighting and trying to you know work against us going digital you are at a loss because really this is this it's it's the time and it's going to happen and this is going to help us to clean up and sanitize our spaces heavy rains destroy property disrupt outdoor events at weekend nationwide ECOWAS AU condemn coup d'etat in Burkina Faso and again Burkina Faso a lot of unrest and um discomfiture happening in in Burkina Faso so um, we we pray for you know some level of calm and peace and sanity for them over there on the front page of the finder newspaper we have these headlines Dr. Baumia's quest to harmonize religious diversity is commendable this is coming from the Yana EU sustainability requirements shouldn't be a ruse to block Ghana's cocoa and coffee Thriving tourism economy on course. 10 million state-of-the-art tourism and hospitality training school to be built. This is coming from the president. Don't criticize Galam Safe Fight, Abu Janapur speaking. All right. We have on the front page of the Chronicle, Yana Lords Veep for promoting religious tolerance. Ecofuado commissions Tema Alisa Hotel. Golden Star Resources exceeds employment of foreigners quota. It's a question that's been asked. The Mancasi murder. Grave digger allegedly arrested. Uh, okay, I don't understand the headline. Is it not supposed to be the alleged grave digger arrested? Because someone has definitely been arrested. So is the, the arrest is not alleged. It's happened. It's alleged. Anyway, uh, help government protect our natural resources. Uh, Jinapur again speaking, the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources. The scripture on the front page of the Chronicle today is Ephesians 5.13. But when anything is exposed by the light, it becomes visible. Right. On the front page of the New Crusading Guide, we have these headlines. Don't overburden local cocoa and coffee industry with supply chain rules. Upon and Chroma speaking. But I, I also think that we need to play by the rules that the markets that we seek to sell in have set. It's not, you, it's not, you can't fight against that, you know. Um, the whole world is going green and organic and sustainability, you know, sustainable living. So you can't do, you know, 
opposite practices and expect that because we are Ghana will be favored extraordinarily. It doesn't work, you know. So, can I say fight? Uh, MMDC is need empowerment, and Mbela DC appeals to a Kufuado. And we have here Balmia bound for greatness. Yana declares. Chase MPP big wigs to show commitment to Galamse fight. Now, this is John Jidapo, the brother of the lands minister. Lands and natural resources minister speaking. Highlights of government's achievement across the country. And New Patriotic Party bids farewell to Haruna Isiku. We have the next paper is the Republic Press. Wound to me in hot waters over forest mining. Labor Ministry issues disclaimer to recruitment scam. E levy to be reviewed. Kenoforiata. In Eastern Region, incessant mining is the cause of Buedria flood. This is coming from Nadmo. Okay. Kojo Bonsu resurfaces as he scatters Mohammed's image. We are building thriving tourism economy. Ekufuadu is speaking. Those are the headlines. There. The new publisher, Elambele Power Play, Elambele Garamse Power Play, Strong Forces Torment DCE. Government removes NIB officer who alleged illegal minors. Police, re uh, regional minister silent on second excavator. Hmm. <laughs> Zoom Lions Patricia grabs environmental award. MPP has better inflation rates track record over NDC. Razako Poku. Harunaiseku goes home. Police hunt for nurses killer. Those are the headlines on the front page of the new publisher. The Energy Digest. We have Total Energies Commission's first electric car charging unit in Ghana. Okay, that's a good one there um, because we know that electric cars and motorbikes um, have already been rolled out in the country. So it's good to know that we're, we're, we're building the charging units that are like filling stations that you can go to and get your cars charged before you continue driving. So that's great. Baumia predicts renewable energy for Ghana by 2070. That's in... That's in 50 years' time. Wow. Wow. Vice presidents. Wow. 50 years' time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Energy sector success story. It's leadership, not magic. Uh, petroleum downstream leaps 41%. Okay. We have the Anchor newspaper. On the front page of the anchor, we have Cabal at ECG uh, siphoning 200 million Ghana cities a month, uh, fingered in metering system sabotage as MP calls for forensic investigation. Wow. Okay. Interesting headline there. Sure, the story is in there, so you can go and read it. Wager Youth fumes at saboteurs of Empire Cement. NLA outlines programs for 60-year anniversary. 60 years anniversary. Top British principals registrars arrive for UK boarding schools fair on Wednesday. I have the Inquisitor. And on the front page of the Inquisitor, we have Who Say Man No Day? Jinapo Pepes Wunt Me. Chiefs Crisis. There's no equipping per NHC ruling, National House of Chiefs. Hmm, okay. I see. There's no president of the Kapem people. Wow, there's no chief. Okay. NLAR 60, a journey of generating uh, national revenue, Sami Wuku. And uh, those, that's what we have for the new, in, for the Inquisitor. The Economy Times has uh, this main headline, here, yeah. deferment of matured instruments is better to haircut, in quotes. 
A minority reacts to illegal transfer of 100 million U.S. dollars to JOHL, demands immediate repatriation. And the last paper that I have for today, BNFT's farmers surrender cocoa farms for Galamse. Uh, blame and fair income. Private businesses need to tighten belt. This is coming from an analyst. And FAO forecasts global rice shortage next year as food import bill of vulnerable countries hits 25 billion U.S. dollars. All right. So those are the headlines we have for today. Uh, go over to citynewsroom.com to check out uh, some more stories there that we have for you, as well as citybusinessnews.com. And uh, we'll take a short break.